and here we have our gradients with pastel colors i think they look really really good and you might be able to include them in your final designs hey hello guys welcome back to another video today i'm gonna teach you how to make gradients using the adobe illustrator gradient tool but these gradients are gonna be some pastel gradients and we also use photoshop to create this amazing design so without any more delay let's just start design we're gonna start by opening adobe illustrator i have a file right here that we can use it's gonna be in the description of this video i'm just gonna drag it right here i'm gonna put it right here in a double straighter it's gonna be some pastel squares with pastel colors and a blank canvas we don't need anything else uh, we're gonna start by creating a square right here and uh, by selecting the gradient tool which is located right here in the tool panel or you can just press g just to have this panel right here i'm gonna select this option the freeform gradient i'm gonna click it and it's gonna give us already seeing the colors that we have already in the document it's gonna create a rough design but i'm just gonna try to edit it a little bit i'm just gonna click it right here and i'm gonna try to take a darker color i'm just gonna try to expand this one a little bit more i want to, to dominate more this part and i'm just one trying to make it maybe a little darker yeah just a little bit a, a little bit of intensity but not too much like 180 will be fine and i'm gonna create another note right here but this note i want it to be a little lighter something like this just to not to overpower the entire design this one can move this way and i'm gonna try to create another node right here i'm just gonna press right here to create another node right here on this one i want it to be like a lighter color as well i'm gonna try to pick something like this just to make it a little bit more neutral in this part of the design i'll try to drag this one up a little bit i'm gonna drag this one down i create another node right next to it like right here and this node is gonna actually have this color it's gonna actually gonna have the right color i'm just gonna press the dropper tool i'm gonna just gonna put it right here so you can guys see it better i'm gonna select this color right here just to create a better transition i'm gonna create another node right here and this one i'm just gonna select like this lighter version of the color i'm just trying to make a, a transition right here from this darker color to this lighter color this more neutral version of it they're gonna drag this one down i think this one should be bigger right here we drag this one a little bit more this way this one can be incremented right there and i'm gonna try to get out of this and try to click one more right here but this one i want it to be more in the neutral side like like this Let's try to, try to make it a little bigger. And uh, here we have our gradient right now. We're going to do some enhancements to this in Photoshop just to make it look a little bit better. We're going to select the square. We're going to press Command C and we're going to go to Photoshop and we're going to create a new file. It's going to be 1920 by 1080. We're going to press Create. And in this file, all we're going to do is simply paste it as a smart object, stretch it a little bit. And now we're going to add an adjustment layer to it. We're going to select here, U and Saturation. And we're just going to try to just select that layer. And we're going to increase the saturation by just a little bit maybe like seven seven or eight will be fine we're gonna add some noise to it we're gonna filter noise we're gonna add some noise this is gonna be like really subtle six is kind of too much we're gonna do like a three maybe let's go all the way till two and have an extra noise layer that we can use for this to make it look a little bit more uneven and it's gonna make it look a little bit better i'm gonna select it right here it's gonna be in the description of the video you're gonna open this noise psd and you're gonna copy it and then you're gonna paste it on top of it you're gonna press command t and we're gonna resize it to make it fit the design as you can see it's gonna look kind of weird because it's gonna look a lot darker and it's you know a little bit too much but we're gonna go uh, and select this layer and we're gonna change the blend mode from multiply to uh, overlay and just gonna reduce this a little bit more maybe like 26 percent will be fine i'm gonna press command a and uh while selecting the layer we're gonna use the align tool we're gonna align this to center it within the composition and then we just write on top of it something like gradient or pastel gradients Okay, let me put the G capital. There you go. Pastel gradients. I'm going to try to press command T. We're going to make this bigger and I'm going to press command A, A right there. I'm going to try to align this to the center of the composition. I'm going to change the color to something a little darker or maybe we can just play with the saturation and saturate it a little bit more. That way we can leave the, the color, you know, make it a little darker just so we can see more of the there we go we can add a little bit more to it we just saturated a little bit better and then maybe change the font to make something a little bit bigger uh maybe we use something like a vultura i love that font okay maybe okay, pastel gradients right there we we'll make it a little bit bigger I'm going to press command A and we're going to align this to the center of the composition. And here we have our final gradients. I think it was really simple to do and you learn how to use the Adobe Illustrator freeform gradient. And this will bring us to the end of the video. If you feel like you learned something, you just give it a like. That'll help me a lot. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.